If you have at least $400 saved for emergencies, you're financially better off than a third of Americans, according to the Federal Reserve. Many people struggle with managing their finances, often due to poor choices or lack of planning. Financial stability doesn't require a high income, but responsible money management. In this video, we're diving into eight reasons why most people struggle financially and how you can avoid these pitfalls. We'll cover budgeting, emergency funds, avoiding bad debt, and investing for the long term. So, if you're ready to take control of your finances, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. The first reason people struggle financially is a lack of clear financial goals. It's like setting off on a road trip without a destination in mind. Without smart goals, it's easy to make impulsive financial decisions. Do you want to buy a house in five years? Retire early? These goals require a plan. Start by identifying what's important to you and break down those big goals into smaller steps. Instead of saying, I want to be rich, specify how much you need to save and by when. Setting clear goals is like entering your desired destination into a GPS. Achieving financial success is about making conscious choices that align with your values. Now let's move on to the second reason why people struggle financially. One third of Americans don't even have $400 saved for emergencies. This is a recipe for disaster because unexpected expenses pop up all the time. Without an emergency fund, these situations can quickly spiral into debt. Think of your emergency fund as a financial safety net. Instead of racking up high interest credit card debt, you can dip into your emergency fund. Aim for three to six months worth of living expenses. Start by setting a small achievable savings goal like $50 or $100 per month. Building an emergency fund takes time and discipline, but it's crucial for financial stability. Now let's move on to the third crucial aspect of personal finance. Budgeting isn't the most exciting topic, but it's essential. It's about understanding where your money is going and making conscious choices. A budget acts as your financial blueprint. Many people avoid budgeting because they're afraid of what they might find. But avoiding a budget won't solve your financial problems. Budgeting doesn't have to be complicated or restrictive. Track your spending for at least a month to understand your habits. You might be surprised how much you're spending on non-essential items. Once you understand your spending patterns, set realistic limits and make adjustments. Budgeting empowers you to make informed financial decisions. Speaking of the future, it's easy to get caught up in the here and now, but planning for the future is crucial. Failing to do so is one of the biggest reasons why people struggle financially. The Stanford Marshmallow Experiment highlights the importance of delayed gratification. By delaying some gratification today and investing for the future, you're multiplying your money over time. Compounding allows your money to grow exponentially over the long term. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Investing for the future doesn't mean you have to live a life of deprivation, it's about finding a balance and making smart choices with your money today. Small sacrifices now can lead to greater freedom and flexibility in the future. The future is built on the decisions you make today. By thinking long term and making investing a priority, you're setting yourself up for a secure financial future. And speaking of things that can hold you back financially, we all have those little indulgences that bring us joy. These seemingly insignificant expenses can quietly drain your bank account over time. That $5 latte you buy every day adds up to $1,800 per year. Imagine if you were to invest that money each year. Over time, with the power of compounding, that small amount could grow significantly. The same goes for other small expenses like unused gym memberships or subscription boxes. It's about being mindful of your spending habits and making small changes. Instead of buying your daily latte, invest in a good coffee maker and make your own at home. Instead of eating out, try meal prepping a few times a week. By being mindful of your spending habits, you can free up more money to invest. Speaking of things that can drain your bank account, debt can be a major source of stress, but not all debt is created equal. It's important to understand the nuances and differences between various types of debt to manage your finances effectively. There's good debt and bad debt, and understanding the difference is crucial. Good debt can be a powerful tool for building your financial future, while bad debt can hinder your progress and lead to financial hardship. Good debt, like a mortgage or student loan, can help you build wealth over time. Mortgages allow you to own a home, which can appreciate in value, and student loans can be an investment in your future earning potential. Bad debt, like high interest credit card debt, can trap you in a cycle of borrowing and repayment. This type of debt often comes with high interest rates that make it difficult to pay off the principal amount. 
Good debt is like investing in a seed that can grow into a money tree. Over time, the benefits of good debt can compound, leading to greater financial stability and growth. Bad debt is like pouring water on weeds. It drains your resources and provides little to no return on investment, often leading to more financial stress and less disposable income. One of the biggest mistakes people make is taking on too much bad debt. This can lead to a vicious cycle where you're constantly trying to catch up, making it hard to achieve financial freedom. Financing a car with a long loan term means you could end up owing more than it's worth. Cars depreciate quickly, and long-term loans can result in negative equity, where the car's value is less than the loan balance. High interest rates can quickly turn a small purchase into a mountain of debt. It's easy to underestimate how quickly interest can accumulate, making it crucial to manage credit card usage wisely. Debt should be approached strategically, not impulsively. Planning and budgeting are essential to ensure that any debt you take on is manageable and serves a purpose in your overall financial plan. Before taking on any debt, ask yourself if it's truly necessary and aligns with your long-term goals. Consider the impact on your financial health and whether the debt will help you achieve your objectives. And speaking of things that can sabotage your financial well-being, always be mindful of the types of debt you accumulate. Make informed decisions to avoid falling into the debt trap. In today's social media-driven world, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparison. We are constantly bombarded with images and updates that showcase the best moments of other people's lives. We see our friends and neighbors posting pictures of their lavish vacations, expensive cars, and luxurious homes. These curated snapshots can make us feel like we need to keep up. This desire to impress others can lead to overspending, debt, and financial instability. The pressure to maintain a certain image can be overwhelming and detrimental to our financial health. We buy things we don't need, with money we don't have, to impress people we don't even like. This cycle of consumerism can leave us feeling empty and unfulfilled. Most people are more concerned with their own lives than with what you're driving or wearing. They are focused on their own challenges and successes. Instead of trying to keep up with the Joneses, focus on your own financial goals. Set clear, achievable objectives that reflect your personal values and aspirations. Create a budget that aligns with your values and priorities. Track your spending and make adjustments as needed to stay on course. True wealth isn't measured by the things you own, but by the experiences you have and the impact you make. Spend time with loved ones, explore nature, and give back to your community. Next time you feel tempted to make a purchase to impress others, ask yourself why. Consider whether the item will truly add value to your life or if it's just a fleeting desire. Is it truly something you need and can afford? Evaluate your financial situation and make informed decisions that support your long-term goals. Focus on building a life of meaning and purpose, and let your actions, not your possessions, speak for themselves. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, and remember that true happiness comes from within. You've probably heard the saying, pay yourself first. It's one of the most powerful principles in personal finance. Many people wait until all their bills are paid before thinking about saving or investing. But life happens, and suddenly, there's nothing left to save. Paying yourself first means treating your savings and investments like any other essential expense. Set aside a predetermined amount of money for savings and investments as soon as you get paid. Automate the process by setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings or investment accounts. Paying yourself first isn't about deprivation. It's about prioritization. It's about making a conscious decision to invest in your future self. By paying yourself first, you're creating a more secure and abundant financial life. Now let's wrap up everything we discussed today. So there you have it, eight reasons why most people struggle financially. It's a tough reality, but understanding these reasons is the first step towards overcoming them. The good news is, now that you're aware of these common pitfalls, you can start making changes to avoid them. Awareness is the key to transformation, and with this knowledge, you can take control of your financial future. Financial success isn't about being born with a silver spoon, it's about making smart choices and developing good habits. It's about the daily decisions you make and the habits you cultivate over time. Whether it's setting clear financial goals, building an emergency fund, creating a budget, or simply tracking your expenses, every small step counts or investing for the long term, these actions can lead to significant improvements in your financial health. Small changes can make a big difference over time. Just like a plant grows with consistent care, 
Your financial situation can improve with consistent mindful actions. The most important thing is to just start. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Start with what you have and where you are. Don't get overwhelmed by trying to do everything at once. It's easy to feel paralyzed by the enormity of the task, but remember, every journey begins with a single step. Pick one or two areas to focus on and gradually incorporate other principles as you become more comfortable. This way, you can build a strong foundation without feeling overwhelmed. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more personal finance tips and advice. Your support helps us create more content to help you on your financial journey. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your time and hope to see you in the next video.